Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> thank you very much for this opportunity to meet you and uh, to introduce myself. Um, I have, I'm currently on the NEC. I've been part of the, uh, the CLP section for the last couple of years and it has, as Yasmin said, been surprisingly time consuming, which is fine, but I think um, it's important to remember that lay members are not full time if you know what I mean. So we have to work a way out of sharing our skills and our expertise and working um, as a group of CLP reps, as, as well as, as obviously the contributions we bring as individuals. Um, so at the moment, I'm working in the Scottish Parliament. I work for the Scottish uh, Labour Group. Um, and I just pick up on the point made earlier about how wrong it is to be undermining leaders once democratically elected by the party. And it's currently a bit of a um, but, well, unacceptable really level of criticism going on of our um, elected leader Richard Leonard at the moment. So we're working very hard around the policies that we will be campaigning on in the 2021 elections um, in Scotland. And I think to make the point in Wales, and there are a whole number of elections in which Labour's standing is going to be extremely important in the run up to 2024. So I'm very much um, focused on that in my job and also in terms of how we prepare the party at a UK level to best assist and with that and, and bringing in all your knowledge and expertise as well but it's really important that we um, make good progress in Scotland and hold on to our um, government positions in Wales. So I am also at the moment Rector of Edinburgh University which has a wide alumni network and I think is a little bit of a model of some of the way that, that, that Labour International organises but on a much bigger scale. There's a lot of alumni um, but they have the, the net international networks really bring additional voice to the, the um, Edinburgh University things that I'm involved in. Um, I have previously worked as a trade union official at Scottish TC and also worked in the railway um, and was active as a trade union rep there, worked as a train guard and driver in Glasgow. So I have some experience of being a minority voice in um, certain settings, which um, hopefully is a transferable skill sometimes. Um, I think that I've been very involved over the last 40 years in building a Labour women's organisation through its various ups and downs. So I'm delighted that we're back in a position under this NEC of moving to elect a National Women's Committee in the party in which everybody should be involved. That will help with bringing new voices and strengths into selection processes. And I do support open selections, but I think part of the discussion we'll be having over the next month in the NEC when we look at the general election results of 2019 is also to begin to look really honestly at the, the review of the selection process that as how it's worked over the last few years and how disengaged some members feel from that. Um, we have also, whilst on the NEC, I think this is important to mention, um, we have got agreement that minutes should be published of NEC meetings uh, on members, the members pages. We, we're trying, we also have got agreement that the share of money that goes to CLPs will be reviewed and we'll be discussing that at the full NEC on the 29th of September. So we've also been working to build the Black and Ethnic Minority Sections, which is an essential part of giving um, members more voice, similarly as members have said, the disability seat. So there's a path that we want to follow and continue. And I'm standing as part of that team um, from the Centre Left Groups Alliance um, to work together to, to deliver those, what, what members want and to follow through on the things that we have already as a party voted on to agree to do. Thanks.